I've got two people here. Each one of them is represented by a glass of Skittles. Skittles one and Skittles two. This morning, God has presented to us that two different people in the way we live today. The first guy lives trying to just take care of himself, and you realize the needs are great, so he gives some of his Skittles to his mortgage payment. And he gives some of his Skittles to his car payment. And if he has kids, more cars. Then he has kids that will one day go to college, and he has to give more money for college, and it's college, so it's, and it's college, so it's more Skittles trying to take care of himself. One, a day, one of those kids decide they want to get married, and it's their daughter. I know what he feels like, and that's the whole thing. And then he looks down, and he says, well, I don't have any leftover to give to God. But God says there's this other guy. His Skittles, the first thing he does with them, he hears the truth. He's connected to what Christ has done in him, and he takes his Skittles, and he gives them to God. His storehouse, to those in need, the tithe. He gives them to them. And then he sees the need, and he gives somebody else. Then he realizes he has a mortgage payment. He has realized he has cars to pay for. He realizes that he has college to pay for. He realizes that he has a wedding to pay for. But then he realizes his is empty. He's not sure what to do, and he knows he's obeyed God, and then he looks to God. And God begins to pour out his storehouse upon him. And God says, it's okay, I got room enough for you. Listen, my friend, his bucket is never empty. It's never empty. And my friend, I want you to understand the issue of the hour is, which guy will we be? What will you do with your Skittles? Because the truth is, God overwhelmingly, God overwhelmingly, in the truth of his word has said, out of the overflow, that love will pour out of you and you will be generous.